This video is absolutely wild. I stopped my Christmas holly and jolly attitude, my Christmas shenanigans to, to sit down and watch this. So this is a video that recently uh, they surfaced really, you know, on Christmas the last few days that shows uh, LPR and DPR, that's Luhansk People's Republic and the Donetsk People's Republic, which are the Russian proxy kind of puppet states they've established in the occupied territory of the Donbass. Well, those local commanders uh, are beating soldiers who evacuated the wounded from the front line as a group of 10 people, meaning that they had 10 people evacuate two wounded people. Now, I don't know how much you guys know about war. I don't know how much you guys know about being a medic or like combat or whatever. You do not need 10 people to evacuate two people. And in this video, you're going to see this commander beat the ever living cojones, okay? Out of these guys, just, just knock them back. Just honestly, pretty like this crosses some lines when it when it comes to how he's treating these soldiers. Um, but you can see like the rage on this guy's face as he's talking about like these people died. Why don't you fight? And he's trying to basically just beat these guys into submission to go get them to fight because they weren't supposed to come back as a group of 10. They were supposed to take the position and have maybe one or two people come and grab these guys and take them back. But instead of holding the position, they they just, they they ran away with these guys because they didn't want to hold it because they were scared. And so I wanted to show you guys this video because this video is wild. There's a lot of cussing in it and there's some foul language when it comes to, you know, the F slur. I'm gonna try to, you know, read it out as well for the people who are listening only audio. Okay, uh, but I also do think it is important to look at the video of exactly how hard this guy is beating the crud out of these soldiers. Whoever moves, shoot them right away. So morons. Why the fuck did you lose your positions? We didn't lose, we took wounded. You were evacuating the wounded. Ten of you. Commander Moscow sent me. I don't give a fuck where Moscow sent you. Who is Moscow? He's an F slur. Because of you today, I had six wounded. Two dead. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was on the face. So if you if you can't see what he has in his hand because it's kind of dark footage, he has what I believe to be a baton and what other people have said is a baton and he's just beating them. He's just beating them. And, and if you think this is bad, it only gets worse. You meant to be taking that position. Fucking morons. They, company commander sent me off. I don't give a fuck about your company commander. One second, let me go back to read it all, make sure you guys hear it all. Fuck you, you fucking cowards. Fuck no. Painful, bitch. Painful F slur. Painful. Oh, shit, man. The boys were coming out of encirclement for two days. My boys live in trenches for ten days in a row, you fucking morons. Oh my god, dude. So, I we're gonna finish this video. But, th obviously this crosses multiple lines on how you're supposed to treat your soldiers. This commander is very upset because his boys are dying, his soldiers are dying, and these guys ran away because, if I'm being com completely blunt, I understood, I understand why they ran away. They ran away because they're scared because the Ukrainian army is killing thousands upon thousands of their, of their countrymen every month, and they don't want to be part of, of that that trail of death and destruction. They're having ammo shortages, shell shortages. They're having a uh, problem getting the getting the supplies to the front line, huge logistical issues. They're having problems with getting properly trained, having up-to-date, good functioning equipment. They're having problems when it comes to communication, a million different problems, morale issues, food issues, fuel issues, a million different issues. It's not that surprising that combining all of that with high casualties, Constant offensive at Bakhmut and, uh, and the icing on the cake of these high casualties in the offensive on Bakhmut, the chilly winter in Ukraine where people, you know, are dying from, from freezing to death, which I assume is not helping as well to have to, to have to pull a trigger with frostbite.
Бля, вот здесь и пей, сука, парни. В окопах живут, блядь. Козлы, блядь. Сука, нельзя... Fuck everyone, on the ground, on the ground. Motherfuckers. I will kill you all, understand? Company commander told you. Because of you, two dead, two wounded. All, all were volunteers. Not like you bitches. You are evacuating two wounded as ten people. Now, so to be clear, this guy has a good reason from a military perspective to be angry at these people. There's no reason for ten of them to be needed to evacuate two people, especially when the orders they were given, supposedly, was to hold the position. But I also 100% are sympathetic to these soldiers of not wanting to get torn apart. But... To this guy, he's just like, he just lost these guys. He lost his soldiers. He lost people who were volunteers, according to him. He might feel fond of these guys. They're dead. And these guys give up the position they died to hold, didn't hold it, because they didn't want to stay on the front line and fight, and they evacuated as a group of 10 when it was unnecessary. So that's why he's, he's angry, even though he's obviously going over the line, and this is, this is abusing your soldiers. Ahmed in touch, Major General. Commander General, I'll report in five minutes. Fucking bitches. You consider yourself to be men. Why the fuck did you come here? Why the fuck did you come here? To fight. To fight! And with the first shelling, you pissed out. <sighs> this footage is pretty wild. Um, I haven't seen footage specifically like this. I've seen footage of confrontations between commanders and soldiers who don't want to take their orders, and they're directly confronting them, saying, we will not do this. This is a suicide mission. We just tried to do this. We lost half our guys doing it. We're not going to do it again. We've seen that. We've seen videos of commanders drunk with their soldiers yelling at them, like, have our boys died. How dare you be drunk? We've seen videos of Russian soldiers showing off their rusty AKs non-functioning. We've seen tons of videos of Russia reusing all these old T-62 tanks that they, they shouldn't be using for a modern war. We've seen videos of, of Russian soldiers complaining about ammunition shortages, of food shortages, of, of logistical problems, morale issues, winch, uh, the 1.5 million winter uniforms which just disappeared out of Russian logistics. There's a million different issues we, we've seen Russian soldiers complaining about. But I've never seen a video quite like this. I've never seen a video get leaked of a commander being pushed this far, a commander going this far, and Russian soldiers just so clearly not wanting to fight at all and willing to take every single opportunity they can to not engage with the Ukrainians. Because to be quite blunt, um, as blunt as that object was that was hitting them over the head, I think these guys don't want to get eradicated, which I think is probably the smartest uh, thing they decided to do while uh, in Ukraine. The only thing they could be doing that is smarter at this point uh, would be surrendering to the Ukrainian territorial defense or the Ukrainian military proper. Um, I wish all these guys will continue to keep their strong wits about them, that they were not knocked out by that baton uh, that was used to beat them over the head by that Luhansk uh, puppet or that Donetsk puppet, whatever it was. Uh, very weird. We haven't seen a video like this before. But the Russian people uh, don't seem to want to go die for Putin anymore and have to quite literally be beaten, beaten into submission to do it. Very sad. Surrendering is dangerous too, though. Yeah, but so is waiting to get shelled, waiting to get shot, waiting to starve to death, waiting to freeze to death, waiting to step on a mine, waiting to get blown up in a tank, waiting for shrapnel to hit you, 
waiting to dig a trench in the red forest and get irradiated by 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 radiation poisoning waiting for an airstrike to hit you waiting for Heimar to tear you apart all these things are dangerous i would say um but i would i would say that the surrendering to the ukrainian forces is probably on the lower end of of the danger spectrum